The FAA is confirming what we all suspect. There was a surge in incidents involving unruly passengers in the sky last year. The agency reports, get this, a total of almost 6,000 incidents. While flight crews are the first responders in such cases, they often get help from air marshals. CBS News is getting rare access to the special undercover law enforcement group. Earl Barnett has more. Die, 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 a simulation die, of a worst-case scenario, a mid-flight hijacking, exactly what federal air marshals are training to stop at this sprawling facility in New Jersey. We are tasked with patrolling and securing the skies. And there are thousands of them flying in pairs daily. As they're always undercover, we cannot show you their faces. But chances are they've likely sat next to you on a flight laying low. We are ready for anything. We are 100% trained and know exactly how to deal with certain situations. So another drink for me. These days, that means unruly passengers. In December, two air marshals broke their cover on this flight from D.C. You to Los Angeles. It. You don't get it! When a passenger became combative. What circumstances will an agent intervene, and what things will they allow the flight crew to handle? If a situation gets to a point where it's an arrestable offense, an assault, or something to a much higher gravity, then we will absolutely intervene. Future air marshals have to be precise in changing conditions. Two rounds, two seconds. Training here in low light scenarios with moving targets and even a replica of a first class cabin layout. You may have upwards of 300 passengers on some of these aircraft. So the last thing that we want to have happen is one of our air marshals accidentally shoot innocent persons. We have some of the highest marksmanship standards out of any federal agency out there. Federal air marshals, would you say they're the best shot in the biz? Yes. Their proof? A marksmanship score which measures accuracy. What's your accuracy? I am shooting a 287. 287, so. 287 yes. out of 300. <laughs> yes. This recruit, who we cannot identify, had no previous law enforcement experience. I wanted something bigger than me. Get back! Get back! New hires slowed during the pandemic. Drop the weapon! But this Drop year, three new graduating classes are kicking off an effort to fill the ranks. The agency making it a priority to recruit from underrepresented groups. You know, sometimes situations where I feel like a female would be better suited to handle a situation. You will be the last line of defense on an aircraft should something go wrong. How does that feel? It's a big job, <laughs> um, but it's an honor. Now, these air marshals fly internationally, but they fly many more domestic flights these days because of the pandemic and the increase in unruly incidents. Now, we pressed the agency to find out which routes were more common, and they wouldn't divulge that information, but they do confirm in using, quote, all available intelligence when determining where these agents will fly. And if you or your friends are interested, Gail, they are hiring. <laughs> Listen, I just like knowing that they're there. That's what I like. And I also like when Max said to you, we're ready for anything. But, but on that subject, Errol, uh, if anything should include uh, attempting to save human life by firing a weapon on the plane, uh, is that, I mean, what happens to those bullets? It, it, what are the calculations that they have to make in terms of keeping the whole plane in the sky while also neutralizing the threat? Well, that's the ultimate question that they carry the answer to. It's a last resort to fire a weapon in a closed cabin that could, of course, cause more damage. And so these air marshals do everything they can to hang back. If an unruly incident takes place, they won't intervene unless the flight crew is in danger, unless those passengers pose a real risk to the flight. We've seen some flights have to return to their, to their origin because of unruly incidents. So the air marshals won't get involved unless things are really turning left and just be aware they're hanging low and discreet so they may be on your flight and you have no idea all right thank you Errol I sat next to an air marshal once and I said you're the air marshal right what do you say he said I cannot answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer that question ma'am I go ma'am that's it that's you Errol thank you very much I really am I'm so glad that they're there